So 343 recently blessed us with a multiplayer reveal trailer and in this video we're going to break down frame by frame what you might have missed within this trailer. Like some really interesting things like alternate fire modes, the removal of red versus blue, and some very interesting gameplay mechanics. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. <laughs> The dust has settled from the Halo Infinite E3 presentation. And overall, I'd say it was a really great presentation. I'll have a video out very soon about my thoughts about the whole thing as well. But spoiler alert, it was pretty sick. But soon after the reveal, we had the release of the Halo Infinite multiplayer trailer reveal. So I wanted to break this down for you guys in this video. So if you guys like these analytical kind of videos and want to see some more content like this, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content as well. If you're new to the channel or want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So here we are in the reveal trailer, guys. Let's just break this down real quick. So the very first scene, we actually get a chance to see the sidekick in action right here. As you can see right here, boom. That's the new sidekick right there in action for you guys. It pretty much just looks the same, but they added on this bottom section right here. I'm not sure if that's like a new kind of weapon attachment or some kind of light or something like that. But hey, you know, it looks more like Halo, I guess, in a way. And got a really an awesome close up of the Spartan. Yes, it is a little blurry, but getting a close up of Spartan looks pretty freaking awesome. Awesome explosions, but nothing really we haven't really seen besides this sidekick. So let's jump into the next frame here as we move forward. This is pretty interesting. This is like a view of the what they call the Academy, which is like a training mode experience for new or people who want to become more acclimated to the Halo Infinite multiplayer. You have a thing called the Academy, which Right here, this Spartan Lorette will guide you through the trials and tribulations that it takes to become an ultimate Spartan, which is going to be a great way for returning players to understand the new mechanics of Halo, as well as returning players who might have not played for a long time, understand some of the mechanics of the game, which is going to be a great way for new players to jump into the game. Now, I'm curious about this, since they created a whole cinematic around this. I wonder if they're going to try to implement some kind of like storytelling elements with the multiplayer, kind of like what we see with like Warzone of Call of Duty or like Apex Legends where, or even Overwatch as well where they try to do like these story arced elements that kind of play out through an entire season. And I think with Lorette here we might try to see something similar happening with Halo Infinite for each new season getting some new kind of trailer cinematics and new story elements to tell through the multiplayer experience which is quite interesting. At least that's just speculation on my part. There's a great glimpse of a new armor set that we haven't really seen yet. We may have seen some images but here we go. This is the commander helmet that we know from Halo Reach with Carter helmet well it's right there as long as as well as we have the bladed shoulder piece that we had from reach as well so very heavily influenced reach armor sets going to be in this game as well looks like he's probably holding up like a commando or possibly the ma40 because you can see he has a sidekick on his side right there as well right here utilizing the bulldog shotgun that we've seen previously as well looks like they're probably holding the pulse carbine as well and you can see it looks like it probably takes about two shots to take down the spartan as well right here so Decent power when it comes to the shotgun right here. Uh, again, we won't really truly know how well it performs until we actually get our hands on it. But they do say flighting will happen with Fort Halo Infinite later this summer. And right here we have a really nice close-up of the return of the CQB helmet in Halo Infinite with a really cool kind of red tinted visor, kind of like a red and black kind of look to the whole Spartan as well. This is an armor coating as well, remember, so there's no primary secondary colors within Halo. It's all just select your coating. Now I'm not sure if this is a redo of the visual style of the commando or if this is like a coating of some sorts but this is definitely changed when it comes to coloring on the weapon as well because in reach very heavily reach influenced armor sets right here on the chest piece that shoulder piece right there straight out of reach like straight out really nice side profile of the same weapon as well kind of see it in action nothing really whole lot to point out right here but definitely looks awesome next shot we get a first look, look at our brand new map that we have in halo Infinite. we don't know the name of this one quite yet but it does look very much like dust 2 which i've seen comparisons on from counter-strike which obviously dust 2 is like one of the greatest maps of all time if halo if it does a similar kind of map i mean that'd be awesome but this looks more of just an aesthetic thing we do see the return of the needler asshole but we kind of knew that was coming back anyways now this armor set specifically does a great job of combining new and old art styles together this helmet looks very much like the soldier helmet that we've seen from halo 4 and i believe also in halo 5 doesn't really look that great but in halo infinite they have redone this helmet and it does look pretty awesome and very stealthy kind of look to the whole thing so i could totally see 
that being a pretty awesome headset to rock out with. And also keep in mind the different undersuit as well. I've been seeing these two different types of undersuits, the mesh kind of undersuit and the more classic kind of rubbery look that we've had for previous undersuits. Now I'm sure if you'll be able to choose your undersuit or if it comes with like an armor coating or something like that. Again, we'll know more with the multiplayer reveal happening on Monday, which I certainly will be covering on this channel as well. And it also does seem we will be able to do some customization on the glove pieces as well, which is great because obviously when you're playing first person, that's one of the things you actually really see. So being able to know that you've customized your Spartan in specific ways is pretty cool. Oh boy, and here it is. The return of the Brood Chopper. I made a video about this previously. It was leaked out, or not necessarily leaked out, but revealed through a Mega Constructs toy reveal saying as it appears in Halo Infinite. And well, this boy is definitely appearing in Halo Infinite. The Brute Chopper is coming back, a more banished, kind of edgy, red and crimson colored version of it. It just looks freaking badass. Can't wait to ride this thing. Now, this scene is actually really cool right here because we have the ghost, we have two wasps the brood chopper and a rocket hog down here in the lower left as well now seeing a lot of people compare this up and say that it, it's actually a remake of valhalla i don't think it is i think just seeing like the forerunner structure like this in like a btb style map and probably be like a base which is very much like ragnarok and also very much like valhalla and having a launch right there that like, puts you into the middle map very similar situations so i can understand where people are coming from on that but i just don't think that is exactly the case as those map visuals just look completely different from what we know from Valhalla, but hey, I never know. I mean, I could be wrong on that one, but from the other screenshots we saw, it doesn't really match up. Here's another close-up of Lorette right here. Again, they did a really good job with the cinematics on here. I think we're going to be seeing these kind of cinematics playing throughout the seasons of Halo Infinite's multiplayer experience. Oh, here we go. We got some squad boy run shot right here, which looks totally awesome as well. Again, all the Spartans that we've seen previously here rocking all the same armor sets right here. We have Pulse Carbine on the left, a Bulldog right here. We have the VK Commander, which more of the coding that we've seen previously. So I think that red one was actually just more of a coding. And we also have the Battle Rifle right here. I can't tell if that's like a camo kind of skin that they have on it, or if it's just the natural looking one. But also, by the way, keep an eye on the feet of this orange boy right here. His right foot is all orange. His left foot is actually, you know, a darker color, like black or gray, gunmetal, whatever you want to call it. And it looks like he actually does have like a robotic arm possibly right there on the right arm as well. And as we go to the next shot here, the same people right here, you can see, yes, there's a robotic arm on the right arm as well. And it actually looks like that lower leg is actually a robotic leg as well that you can now have in Halo to add some more customization to your Spartan to do some more robo arms and stuff like that, which is super cool. I definitely like that in Reach and I'm glad it's coming back in Halo Infinite. Next, we just have a really quick battle scene right there. It just looks completely awesome as well. Going to first person, not important thing I want to showcase. Tonight. This is a huge important thing. This confirms red versus blue gone in Halo. Not going to be a thing anymore. You're going to have your own individual colors, but they mentioned this in the development update that I did make a video on talking about how they're going to be using an outline system to indicate friend or foe. Now we only see foes in this one, so this could be a free for all experience, but take a look at the enemy guy that you see right here that's shooting at your friend that were from our point of view. I don't know if it comes through on the video super well, but he has a red outline around the spawn very thin but it's certainly there and i think there enough to where it's not intrusive or it looks like you're looking at a ui but also part of this experience as well you can also see in the back right here as well another enemy spawn outlined in red so there's not gonna be red versus blue anymore in halo it's gonna be based off of this outline system of friend or foe which they indicated within the blog update of halo infinite as well you get a nice little close-up again you can, you can see how the red outline comes through the flash of the weapon as well so that's what we're going to be dealing with. That's what it's going to be kind of looking like with Halo Infinite. Now, obviously with like community feedback, things can be tweaked a little bit, a little bit with, the, with the visibility of this right here. But again, this is what we're going to be getting in Halo Infinite. Team-based colors, gone. Your own individual colors will stay, which I think is kind of cool. But we can continue on right here. And again, weapon off the wall over here, by the way, as well. Very interesting. Yeah, weapon racks now. Uh, doesn't I didn't really notice any kind of weapons on the ground except for BTB. There's this one scene where there's a sword, which we will point out later. There is again, you can kind of see the red outline of him. And right there, check that out. That's our first look of the new like pulse equipment that sends out like a radius to let people know like where bad guys are right here. You can see him through walls. Looks like within this radius as well as so kind of arm shot. Similar thing as the grapple shot as well, which is pretty interesting to see how that works out. What's the cooldown rate? How many can you throw down? That's gonna be very important to know about. I'm sure we can test that kind of stuff out with the gameplay reveal and also the flighting and stuff like that. Check it just like 
This had to be Unishek playing, because I think only Unishek can pull this off at 3-4-3. Now, when I first saw this weapon, I'm like, that's a cool new weapon in Halo Infinite, just incinerating people. But take, an in take a closer look. There's two firing modes with this weapon as well. You can see right here, take a look at the reticle over here in the center. It's much more, it's very linear, flat kind of style right here. Shoots it off, kind of has a wide spread to it right there. And then you can see the animation actually tightens up the weapon right there, right there, and then goes to a much more vertical placement when it comes to the reticle as well. So depending on the situation, you can change the reticle position of this weapon, at least with what we've seen previously. I don't know if there's gonna be alternate fire modes with other weapons. Again, with that multiplayer reveal on Monday, but I'm sure we'll know more. This next thing is pretty cool because it showcases how equipment will look to an enemy player from third person. As you can see, the Spartan right here running with the little shoulder thing right there on his forearm. That lets you know, I guess that's gonna be an equipment because you will see him use this equipment in a second. I first thought it was like a wrist mounted like noob combo, but it actually repulses a noob combo shot back at the enemy, which they did mention within the blog update here. And so you can see he swings the hammer, big boy gets the smack. Now right here you can see exactly he uses the repulsor right here to shoot back the noob combo shot back at the enemy, swaps to the BR, gets the headshot. That's pretty awesome. A great way to counter that noob combo because the noob combo is essentially like a power weapon. And if you can find a way, new cool ways to counter that, that's pretty awesome. Again, we get a really good shot of the drop ball right here as well, which you can see it's broken up into different pieces. This looks very different from what we saw from the campaign as well. He shoots through the wall, that segment breaks apart. So it's not gonna be like the bubble shield that we know from Halo 3. It's gonna be much more dynamic, much more interactive and way less protective than the bubble shield and probably a bit less annoying. Just depends how many shots it takes to actually break down one of those shields. That's why you got someone using the grapple shot, gets stuck, I'm sorry, you're dead. Right there, you can see here's our first little glimpse at the customizable AIs that we have in Halo Infinite as well. Now in the development update, it said that they can help capture objectives. I think it's more just kind of an icon showing who captured the objective. Uh, I would doubt that you can just like plant your AI, walk off the objective while it still captures. That wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But again, we'll know more as the days continue on as throughout this week, we'll know more about Halo Infinite as the day, as the week progresses. And here's another shot of a new map as well. This looks just like, Straight up classic Halo, man. The amazing four, uh, you know, four run structures covering up the whole map. A much more kind of circular kind of looking base kind of situation. Like a, between a twin base is going to between each other, some sort, something like that. Just looks freaking cool. This right here kind of caught me off guard because I was looking at maybe he's just shooting a Ravager. But looking at the shots that that guy was shooting, right? Keep an eye on that part of the screen. The way that the weapon was shooting just didn't really seem very Ravager-like. So I'm kind of curious, like, what was that man shooting? I don't know. Uses the grapple shot to pull a weapon towards him. Looks freaking awesome. Grapple shots to a freaking wasp. Throws him out. Takes it for himself. That's amazing. Now here we go. The BTB 2.0 stuff. I'm very curious about how the grapple shot will be used within the multiplayer. I think they mentioned that it might be limited use equipment. We'll see how limited that use is because he's like pretty fast cooldown between grabbing that brute power weapon and then also you know skyjacking the wasp right there. Be interesting to see how that plays out. But this is BTB, man. This is like gonna be the big social mode for people to play. 24 player BTB with ordinance drops called in from players and stuff like that. Very interesting stuff to look at. Very interesting to see right here that the scope glint from snipers coming back in Halo right here as well. Which I think is great, especially for large scale modes like BTB. You're gonna need like a little bit of scope glint to let people know that you're actually having a sniper look at you completely changes your gameplay tactics. Very important to know. Like I mentioned earlier, weapon pickups still be still look to be a thing along with rack weapons. As you can see right here, this looks to be a sword that's in the back of the map here as well. So looks like classic weapon pickups in Halo are still going to be a thing as well, which is gonna be obviously what you expect to have in a Halo game. Now this is just, a, I just wanna show stuff right here because the shot looks freaking awesome. I'm just excited about Halo, man. Jumps into the Banshee right here. Just classic Banshee plays right here, looking amazing. You see him grabbing the flag here. It is a red colored flag though, very interesting. But they did mention within the development update, depending on what your color is for the outlines of characters, will correspond with like scoreboards and flags and bases and stuff like that. So this is gonna be much more personalized visuals of what kind of color you will be seeing. So if you want your enemy team to be, I don't know, purple, this will probably be showing up as personal for like accessibility sake. This next thing, I just want to point this out if it's like maybe expanded destruction when it comes to vehicles or something like that. If you take a look at this Warhog right here, after this explosion, 
There are only two canisters. Normally there are three canisters right here. I don't know if there's some type of destruction that we'll see, you know, more detailed destruction. We didn't really see that a whole lot within this trailer, but I just kind of wanted to point that out. It's just like, oh, there's two instead of three <laughs> kind of thing. And it's just a really cool shot. I mean, that just looks freaking awesome. I mean, how could I not? Interesting thing here with the, this ball right here, by the way, the skull coming back, which is much better than like the ball that we had in Halo 5 originally. We assume like a, a Hamlet like pose with the skull. It's just, just to me, it's just funny. And he just goes right into the animation of just like some big boy super smack on this. <laughs> oh my God. Absolutely yeets this man right here as well. Uh, you can also see right here, it looks like there's some kind of pickup as well in the corner of this map as well. On top of that, which is all good to know. Just like, hey, classic pickups are coming back. Rockets, weapons, explosions, grapple shot, the freaking canister. And then they're like the showcase of Hayabusa 2.0, dude. Combat evolves the sword to him like we've been able to do previously. That's back in, oh my god, that armor set, dude. That is something else. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen or here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.